Guardians. My name is Josh A. Gilsblair, and we are here for week one of the Ubers Draft League, the UDL Season 2, run by none other than Lars, a.k.a. L. Scissor. I am really, really excited. I really also hope that I put up a draft analysis. I made the thumbnails for a reason. Hopefully, I used them. So, uh, for week one, we are here against Juiced Coach of the Angels of Bahiam. Go check out uh, his channel in the description below, where hopefully I put all the coaches links. If I didn't, well, fuck. <laughs> well, fuck. Anyway, uh, I don't have any kind of video. I don't have anything behind. Obviously, I'm going to behind. But anyway, I think I'm about time that this goes up. Hopefully, I won't be video behind. Anyway, with all uh, that all out of the way, let us jump right in. Uh, his team consists of Pokemon, 10 of them, from the Ubers team around. Uh, he has regular Ubers, he has Goga, he has Mega Beast, Juwan, he has Groudon, Toby Kiss, regular Groudon, by the way. Uh, and then he has Slash, he has Aurora, and he has Superior, and he has Aurora. And we are bringing a Link 4 4 attack from our shadow. We are bringing a charity carry defensive uh, hub with toxic for six staff. Sub Bruce, uh, Ice Beam Fusion Flare, Turn 1. Uh, Black Bolt, Rip, Plus Punch, and Fortnite. I can play Ice Beam Fury and Echoes in Fortnite, which is really good. He does not switch into this really well at all. So Sub Bruce is really nice. Switch Curve to Rocky for offensive checking pace with the entire team. A physically defensive lander, Ethereum with a Rocky Helmet and Toxic and Soft Rocks, and then a Sugar Fairy, a Woman Muck, which uh, can take a lot of assault this. Oh, 
I did not bring defog. Why did I bring two toxic ones and not bring defog? Also, I have webcam on. I did not expect to have webcam on. I expected to be able to put a light, make a layout, a quick one. Whoops! Be right back. I've been at work all day. At home, super late. So Dialga comes out. I am in theory faster than you, and I want to know how much I'm doing to you. He's not going to be offensive stealth rock. He'll kill me with anything. And Ice Beam should 2 KO him if he's offensive. Ice Beam. He's Spideff. Good Flash Cannon. Okay. That's good to know. Um. My Muck doesn't serve as many purposes here. He's not Chapel, which is good. Like, I just want to go fire off a knockoff real quick. I think I'm going to go fire off a knockoff. Uh, that is definitely at least max HP, I would say. I feel like that's still... so. Actually, no. That had 2 KO max HP. So, yeah, that's Spideff. That's very max Spideff. Good lord. That's actually max Spideff and a low roll. Um. Huh. I marched out. <laughs> I gotta get Brock's. I got to also. Um. He did bring a defogger, but he's not pressured by rocks like I am. Because my stupid ass didn't bring defog. I go for Dragon Tail. And he brings down my Landorus. Now, I'm faster than you. And I can Earthquake you. So hard right now. You actually don't have an Earthquake immunity. God, but I want Rocks up. I know he's going to go for Hidden Power Ice. I want to Earthquake this bitch out this fucking planet. It's a Dialga. It's not a... I don't know why I thought Curum. I have Curum. That's Curum. Uh, and this is... Okay, he's gonna do a lot. He's not max HP, uh, max special attack there. So... In power eyes can kill. I really just wanna... Okay. I really just wanna Earthquake. But does this thing get recovered? Probably not. Flash Cannon, Dragon Tail. This would also be good for um, weakening because I think I hit him power ice to roll to kill me at this point. He doesn't know my investment. He doesn't know if I'm offensive. He'll switch out. I think he'll go ground on. I'm gonna go for rocks. Yeah. Now, this this is something standing in the way of my March Shadow. So I'm gonna toxic this. He toxics me, and. I do damage every time I get this thing in because he literally has no earthquake resist. His earthquake resist is standing, sitting in front of me, staring at me. Um. So stealth rock toxic, precipice blades most likely earth, like a, a ground type move in general, just because my team is pretty ground weak and uh, like my drag's pretty ground weak, and then my team's pretty ground weak. I'm guessing the other move is gonna be rock slide. 
Stone Edge, same thing. Not really, but okay, so he has leftovers. I'm gonna go for knockoff here. Let's get rid of them leftovers. Uh, if he switches out to anything, if he thinks that anything's gonna be able to come in on um, Earthquake, it'll be losing its item. And I wanna get rid of these leftovers. Uh, he crits me, which sucks, because now I go down to poison. And he gets first blood. I didn't like this matchup at all, and he didn't bring the one thing I was so prepared for. Kills Landorus. He with uh, toxic damage. But, um. Oh boy, is it time. I am life for Marshadow. This is a Groudon, which could be. Marshadow, do I think Spectral Sleep is going to do enough? It doesn't. I mean, if he's max defense, which he probably is, he could live this. But I'm gonna go for close combat. I have to. Wow. I should have calculated that ahead of time. I can't believe this doesn't always kill. I'm sure he has something. I'm sure he's just not max HP, max defense. I'm sure he has some kind of attack to make sure he kills Ho Ho. Or he has enough to make sure he 2 KOs Churum. Oko Z. Muck. Oko Jirachi. But even if he is completely max, max. It's 35 min. Wait, what? Am I? Guys, I promise you, I am not doing drugs. I've not done drugs today. Promise you I'm not on drugs. I'm on Mountain Dew. There you go, that's my drug. Just kidding, my love is your drug. My love is your drug. I'm so afraid he's gonna go eat a slot here. But if you go to the Aegis Slash, I'm going to go into, um, nothing, and lose. Great. Here's the thing. Do I die to a... Um, sneak. I mean, if it's like a light warp, some horse shit. He does, but like, then he immediately dies. Wow, if he's in blade form, he dies a shadow snake hard. So what are you gonna do, Juiced? What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Who's your Scarfer? Infernate. It's not Zerora. Although Zerora expects. Expect at this point. Wow. I want to know. Sneak does. God! God, guys, Marsh Shadow is so fucking strong. <laughs> okay, so just like 80% of that. Infernate. Does like a lot to that. Wait, no, it does like 60 to that. Um, wow, he actually did it. I'm gonna go to my muck. Wow, he actually did it. I'm not messing with anyone. Okay, so he goes for the Iron Head, which is fine. I need to know if you have Shadow Sneak. Kind of curious if you have Shadow Sneak. He also went for Iron Head, which is very interesting. Um, this will also pop a Cassie Berry? Cassie Berry, I think. <laughs> the good thing is that Ho has regenerated. Like, that's a really good thing. Guys, do not ever let me draft Charizard Y. <clears throat> also, I just burped. Go fuck yourself. So, 
setup Arceus is really annoying. He does Shadow Sneak. Okay. So... I could kill him with so many things. First off, he plays offense, I think. He has to play be an offensive player, like, based on what he brought. Actually, no, he brought, like, a balanced team, I think. Bulky offense. Iron Head was supposed to do that much. It did that much. That is definitely max attack. Okay. So that's good to know. I think I'm gonna go into Ho Oh. And even though I'm gonna take rocks damage, he can't be both Akka and Kasib. And honestly, I think he's more afraid, based on his team, I think he's more afraid of Mark Shadow. My Scarf Rachi also does a lot of work if I can get rid of this bastard. So I'm gonna go into just that. I do have a Charty Berry. I can live any type of rock type move from any of these bastards. I will go for Sacred Fire. Ega Slash. So he has Iron Head and Shadow Snake. He probably has King Shield. He could have his SD. SD could be a possibility. Or it could be Rock Slide. E Slash kills. Alolan Muck with Shadow Snake. Okay. So he's Akka. He has to be Max HP to live. Not. Yeah. So with his potential switch ins, um, die or get burned. I hate to go infernate, but I'm pretty sure at a 104 attack, and I'm being the investment I am with the Charlie Bear, I'm pretty sure I love a rock slide. If he goes Aurora, it is in range of Shadow Sneak. If he goes Infernate, it goes in range of Shadow Sneak. If he goes Arceus. He goes Groudon, like I already know what he's doing. He's either Akaberry, he's gonna rock slide, and he's gonna kill me, maybe. I mean, it's an Ega Slash, so I'm not gonna be too surprised if he kills me. At my range. <laughs> he doesn't kill me. Yeah, but. Uh, so he's gonna either rock slide and do a bunch of damage to me, and be, um, whatever. Yeah, he could go for King Shield here, which is definitely a possibility. Uh, that's a good scouting measure. Actually, I think I'd King Shield. Makes me want to recover. Uh, if he goes Groudon, that's fine. Like, I'm not too worried about this thing's health right this second. Because I can still switch out. Ooh, but the Arceus. The Arceus is a problem. I do have my Jirachi, though. And my Marshadow. As long as I have Jirachi and Marshadow, he can't really kill everything. Uh, I'm definitely going with for game with my Marshadow. I suspect either Zerora or the Infernape or something to have some kind of investment. Or he's never going to bring out his Infernape. He has to be Scarf Infernape at this point. In my head, he's Scarf Infernape. Based on, like, how his team is, what's better than the other. Let me make sure that I didn't read this wrong and that this doesn't do a 1,000% to Because I don't think I read Spectral Thief. Please tell me I didn't read Spectral Thief. Spectral Thief. I did. Shadow Sneak only does 50. Okay. So I'm going to need a lot of damage on stuff. Wow. I mean, I thought that it could be doing that much. It's a Mark Shadow after all, guys. It's Life or Technician Mark Shadow. I thought Shadow Sneak would do more. That's still like a fair amount. Ugh. <sighs> uh... Scarf Jirachi might not be the Pokemon to win me this game. Now I think about it. So he does go for King Shield. Ega Slash. 
this one. Versus wow, it doesn't do that. Does that much. I want to recover so bad on the Groudon sack because I feel like he has to sack Groudon. Because it still handles this, it still can offensively check the Marsh Shadow, it handles the Cure and White to an extent. Every Rock Slide, that's fine. But I'm positive, like, he has to sack Groudon, right? Although he's been playing really well. I could also be Bandit, because Bandit 2 AKO'd his entire team. If I'm him, I go Groudon and I sack it. If he goes there were afterwards, I mean, if he rock slides, then I end up at slightly more HP. I do lose my Charty Berry. That's fine. He brought a fast team. Look at that. He brought priority. And he slash. He didn't bring the Mega Mewtwo Y. I get it. It was it, it was weak to the Marsh Shadow. I'm surprised he didn't bring Toad Kiss. Wow, I could brought bulk up. I could brought a lot of things in the last slot because he didn't bring Toad Kiss. Rock's tomb was specifically for the Toad Kiss. Like he doesn't need the Groudon anymore. It dies to everything. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so he sacks the Groudon. And we call him on that. And I'm faster than this, right? Because I'm at the same speed as my... I'm not guaranteed, but... And now this is sun boosted. Now you really don't switch into this. And the only thing that can kill me from full, right this second, is the Zerora. Zerora! Okay, so our first blood goes to ho -Oh. Round 7 ho -Oh. ho -Oh kills Groudon with... Sacred Fire. If he kills anything that's not the Zerora, I blow the shit out of it. Zerora better fucking kill me. I love that thing in the MMMMMLBA. Does it not? It depends on what he is. Do I think he's banded? I don't think he's banded. I don't think you run banded Zerora versus me. Because I have a Tangriff. And I have... Mm, I think he's Specs. Which I definitely live. This is Sun Boost and Sacred Fire. I can put this thing down right now. Because this is a problem. I'm going to Sacred Fire. Oh, Gigavolt Havoc. That'll knock me out. <gasps> It might have knocked me out. Oh, it depends. And now I don't even know what he is. Uh, I'm guessing he's specially biased. He can go for Fire Punch, but I'll live it. I would have lived that to my Rachi too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this will chip him down long enough for uh, Shadow Sneak to kill him. Uh, I crit him, now he's definitely in range of Shadow Sneak. He Thunderbolts. Oh, come on! That was a roll then! If he's timid, it wasn't even a roll. 
So I can try and get a little bit of luck here. If he goes, I think he might go Eagle Slash here, which scares me. Or the Infernape. Uh, he'll never go Infernape, actually. He goes Eagle Slash, if anything. Or he just lets this thing die. If he goes Eagle Slash, I can Fusion Flare. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't even get the chance for it to be a roll. If I had ran match XP instead, I don't even think it was a roll. It was. Of course it was. I got a flinch. Yeah, I don't flinch. Come on, let me get my luck back. One more. Go, Rachi. Jirachi kills Zadora with. And then the Zerora kills Ho -Oh with Giga Volt Havoc. He has to be modest, by the way, or rash, or whatever, to live or to kill me with Giga Volt Havoc. I guaranteed live. Oh, wait, why is Discord going off? Did I not have. Oh. Aaron Chan! Aaron Chan! Aaron Chan! Aaron -chan. Your gain is on the drive. Good, because I gotta record that too. Whoops. Okay, so here's the thing. Here is the thing. Infernate. Infernape. Choice curve. Versus. Drachi. Close combat is a roll in my favor. And Iron Head will put him in range of Shadow Sneak. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And my Curum does live this hit, by the way. So if he does kill me, I do live Flare Blitz. He can't. Uh, if he's close combat, then I kill him with um, Shadow Sneak. Flare Blitz. Okay. I do live that. I can honestly roost. Because he can't be adamant. Adamant doesn't outspeed me. It might. It doesn't. Right? It might. <laughs> if he's smart enough to run it. I do live Flare Blitz. Um, I have no idea who these people are. If he's not Chopple, I might be looking at a good game right now. Or not a good game, but like, um... A... Potential... Win. Potential. Potential. Infernape kills... Jirachi... With Flare Blitz. No, I want to roost, because I can slightly start getting back HP as he kills himself. But wow, he got a max roll there, too. Yeah, he'll start killing himself. He's in range of Shadow Snake. Uh, I don't care what he does now. Yep. I thought about ice beam there. I wanted ice beam so bad, but it didn't matter. Like, actually, it could have, could have mattered. So it all comes down to whether or not it's Arceus Shoppleberry, or if he even just lives close combat in general. I mean, it is a freaking Arceus. Must be like max defense. I live the flat that too. Good lord.
Yeah, because I could have killed that, and then he would have um, had to revenge me at the end for anything. Okay, so March Shadow, come on. Cure him. All right, kills. No, Dialga. Dialga kills Kurum White with Flash Cannon. I also think he might be Kasee Berry. Just to be sure, just, I don't want to miss, but like, just to be sure, Marsha, you killed Rock Team. You do kill Rock Team. Shadow kills Dialga with Shadow Sneak. Infernape is in range. I mean, it's still crit. Uh, I'm pretty sure he just goes into Ego Slash and, um... I can always crit back. Actually, if I crit, I think I win. <laughs> oh, I gotta find out what he brought. This is looking like an L, but, like, I have to find out what he brought. I had to find out what their roar was. I'm gonna be so mad if that crit mattered. He played so well too though. Had I not had I calc to see if close combat it killed that Groudon, I probably wouldn't have gone um March Shadow. I probably would have gone um Kira. I think Kira wanna take rocks damage and it would just been really annoying later. If I clicked Knock Off the first time, instead of Earthquake the first time, he would have been slightly lower. And I could have... Um... I have a Shadow Sneak. Um... I could have done some things. We all, got, all I gotta do is crit! All I gotta do is crit, and then this game is over. Wait, what? Um. Alright, sack something, boy. How about Defog? I could have actually been slightly higher. Okay, so and then I died a life orb. Rip! Marsh, I got two gills. Marsh, Uh, Marsh Shadow kills Ega Slash with Shadow Sneak. And then Marsh Shadow does the Light Orb. Well, uh, Ega Slash. Well, that's really unfortunate. We do cop an L for our son of a. Guys, I'm using my PBL. <laughs> Uh, scene. <laughs> oh, good God. There you go. Alright. That sucked a lot. I need to go find out what Zero is. Hope you guys enjoyed our first week. Uh, we caught an L. There's seven weeks. Six and one? Six and one. Can't believe it didn't bring me to. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um next week we face off against I think Gray. I'm not sure. Either Gray or Garrett. I don't remember. Maybe Paul? I don't know. Who cares? I lost. Rip.
2-0. Only 2-0. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace.